Is this just a coincidence or it's destiny? Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. If you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. That helps a lot. This week, let's talk about recursion trees. So uh, last week was my midterm and there are three questions were asked about recursion trees. So I figured it might be useful to talk about how I solve this kind of the problem. And after watching this video, you will be able to solve this kind of a problem and understand how it works. Okay, let's get started. Let's take a look at this problem first. So two, four, and square root of n, they're all different. That's why I chose this question, because I don't want you guys to uh, mix them together. You'll be able to see which part does which job. Okay, so uh, how to draw a recursion tree? You just need to remember one thing. This, this is a trick. So if you sum everything together, that'll be Tn. So no matter what you draw, how many levels, it doesn't matter. We just need to make sure if you add up all the nodes, the sum would be Tn. Remember this. If I have to draw a tree with only one level, what the tree would look like based on this rule? Yes, it would be like this. Very simple. How about two? To make it simple, we call this item square root of n work. For a tree of two levels, the root would be square root of n. We put the work here. What are the children? So that you add three items here, that will be tn. It's just tn over 4. And another one. So if you add everything together, that will be tn. I'll draw an arrow here just to show that how we evolved. What if we have three levels? Yes, we just need to expand this term like this. Okay, so what is tn over 4? It's simple, you just replace n with n over 4. Now we are going to draw a tree with three levels based on our rule. Square root of n, we don't change it. And the only thing we need to change is tn over 4. Since tn over 4 equals to this, we put the work here. What are two children of this? Yes, it's just this term. Right, if you add these three together, it will be tn over 4. Okay, so let's just copy what we have here to here. All right, so if three levels, it will be like this. Let's just double check if everything adds up together will equal to tn. The sum of the left subtree is tn over 4, which is this one. And the sum of the right subtree would be the same thing, tn over 4. And if you add them together, that will be tn. So... Good. Now the question is, how to draw a tree of k levels? We have level 1, 2, and 3. And how about k? So every time you see t, you expand it, and expand it, and expand it, until you reach the base case. How to expand this term? Similarly, you have this formula. And what to fill here? It will be n for you divide another 4, so that'd be 3. And what's inside of this room? That would be just whatever inside of the parentheses. Okay, now we know how to expand. We erase this and replace with the work. Okay, so we put the work here with two children. What are children? If we can guess. Now, if you notice a pattern, you always use the last level to divide 4 to get this level and divide 4 to get this level. So, what should be here? It's 4 cubed. So at k level, it will be n over 4 to k. And we know the base is 1, so you can put 1 here or you can put this thing here. It doesn't matter. I don't want to expand these things because these are totally the same with this subtree. So we develop this tree based on the rule. So if you add everything in this tree together, that will be Tn. Exactly. So how to calculate the sum? One way is to calculate the sum of each level and add them up together. So what the sum of this level? 
That's really smart. Square root of n. What the sum of this level? Now we need to do some calculation. That's 2 times this. So that equals to 2 times square root of n over square root of 4. And that equals to 2 times square root of n over 2. So that is square root of n. It's the same. How about the third level? Would it be the same or not? Let's try it. It will be 4 times this. It's still square root of n. It's the same. And if you try the next level, it'll be the same. And I can tell you why. Let's say we want to calculate the sum at level m. If you see the pattern, it would be square root of n divided by 4 to m. That would be what will show up here for level m. And how many nodes would be on level m? Since we have two here, so it's a binary tree. That means every node has two children. So at level 0, that would be 2 to 0. Level 2, that will be 2 to 1. Level 3, that will be 2 to... Level 2, that will be 2 to 2. And level 3 will be 2 to 3. Level K, 2 to K. So how about M? That will be 2 to M. So this is the sum. And let's just simplify it. And it turns out it's square root of n. Just one quick tip. If here it's not 2, it's 3, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't be this easy. That was just a proof on why the sum of each level would be this number. Now we have the sum of each level. But we still need one more thing to calculate everything. That is the height. If we know the height, we can just multiply height with the square root of n to get Tn. So what is the height? I will show you one way to get height formally, and then I will teach you a trick. The secret is base. So we already know that the base is 1, and we have the formula base. So we just use n divided by 4 to k equals to 1. And in the end, we will know what k is. So why we need to calculate k? to get the height? Yes, because they are the same thing. So k equals to log 4n. This is the answer. Now we have everything we need to calculate tn. Uh, before that, I want to share a trick on uh, how to get height in a faster way. So if you notice, the base is 4, and this is exactly what we have here. Is this just a coincidence or it's destiny? It is not a coincidence. If we have 5 here, if n over 5, then it will be log 5n. And if 6, it will be 6n. Because when we are drawing the tree, uh, in order to get the next level, we divide the last level by 4, by this number. Every time we expand a level, we divide by 4, 4, 4, 4. So the height is how many 4s? 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, inside of n. Whenever you have 4, you can divide one more level until you reach 1, and height is that bound. So next time when you calculate the height, you don't have to do the calculation here. Um, you just observe what's under n, and the height would be log this number n. Okay, there's another trick. Because when we are calculate tn, we use theta or o um, as an estimation. So we don't really care what is a base. We just get rid of it. Got it? Okay, our final step is just to do the multiplication. 
and I don't put the base here, so I will need a big O notation. If you don't indicate the base here, nobody will judge you. It's totally fine. There's just one more thing that I want to let you know is if you see a recursion without the base, it's treated as one or a constant. And that doesn't affect the result. Let's say if it's 10, that doesn't affect it. Let's assume the base is C and N equals to 1 and C equals to this part, right? C to K. Now I want to prove that no matter what the base time is, it wouldn't affect the height. So what the height is? And we know this is a constant. If we use big O notation, we don't care it. Drop this term and it will be still the same. Okay, so that's what I have for this video. If you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. That helps a lot. I have another video about Zoom University, which is totally for fun. Feel free to check it out. See you next time.